Hey everyone, check back for a quick tip about how barometric pressure can affect fishing. Stay tuned and we'll give you some information that might help you catch more fish. Hey, so we're out here on the lake. It's fall. We just had our Tournament of Champions in our, in our Bass Team Trail Series last weekend. We finished seventh. Part of my preparation for, for pre-fishing for that was understanding what the forecasted barometric pressure was going to do that weekend. It was very fronty and weather was all over the place. We had a cold front. We had winds. We had winds switching all over the place. Um, the weather is affected and the fish are affected primarily by barometric pressure. And I know a lot of people don't know a lot about that, uh, but a fish has very delicate sensory organs. They've got a swim, they've got a, you know, an air bladder, they've got a lateral line. They're used to living under a lot of hydrostatic pressure, right? Under the water, if you've ever swam and you've dove down deep, you fell that hydrostatic pressure uh, maybe hurt your ears, you've got to plug your nose and pop your ears to equalize pressure. That's hydrostatic pressure and the barometric pressure is the pressure in the atmosphere and when that changes, that changes weather. It, 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 it's correlated to weather patterns. So what I look for um, is I look for that barometric pressure forecast and we'll start by talking about high pressure because that corresponds to, to poor fishing and a lot of people know that. When you get uh, above, say, 29.4 uh, millibars of pressure, uh, that's considered high pressure. And that's synonymous with clear skies, high skies, tough fishing conditions, um, uh, you, you know, east winds. Uh, so high pressure, uh, what that does is, is um, that pushes a lot of the, the, the uh, plankton and the, and the, and the uh, bug life out of suspension in the water column and correspondingly slows down the bite, right? And a lot of times a bass in this case, a smallmouth bass will, they'll actually suspend uh, in very shallow water even they'll suspend. They're not down, nose down to the ground feeding, they're more suspended uh, and you've got to change your tactics for them. You've got to get closer to cover, you've got to understand if, uh, where the positioning is of the fish. Uh, the middle of the road, the normal stable pressure, I would say, is probably that um, that's 29, 28 to 29 range, uh, 28 to, to high 29 range. That's kind of that stable pressure, stable weather patterns, and more consistent fishing probably. The best fishing, I think, is when uh, the, the low pressure systems come in, and you can definitely feel that. I'm 52 years old and I feel low pressure coming in my knee. Uh, but, but the low pressure fronts that come, anything below you know, 29 to 26, those super low pressure systems can be all bets are off. Those fish will aggressively feed in those low pressure systems and they'll eat anything that, that uh, is an opportunity for them. So uh, uh, there's a couple of ways you can, you can really uh, check out your day, forecast your day. And, and I'm gonna show some apps and, and one of them is an IntelliCast app and that's got a graphical representation of the forecast for the pressures and you can see it correspondingly then with the wind. So if you see a pressure change, you can see the wind shift and you'll start to associate wind shift uh, changes with barometric pressure changes and maybe feeding windows for fish. Um, I always check to see if there's any stable or dropping and, and those pivot points of dropping barometric pressure are key to me to pay attention, be in the right spot, be paying attention. If you've gone through a lull period, perhaps it was raising a little bit or it was steady for a while and then there's a little bit of a drop, that can be corresponding with a wind shift and that can, be, that can correspond with a bite. So the, the IntelliCast is one way you can follow that graphical representation on the screen. This other app I'm going to show you has got a forecast based on your position. I like this one. It's got detailed information in it. It'll give you some summary information what it's supposed to do that day, but it'll also give you another graphical representation by hours and you can kind of plan out your tournament day. If you're, um, uh, for instance, you're, you're taking off at 7 in the morning, you can check the barometric pressure at 7, 10, noon, 1, 3 at weigh-in. And you can look for those points in the graph when, when there's going to be a barometric pressure change, particularly a drop. Um, 
so that you can pay attention, be in the right spot, understand what's happening around you. If you feel the wind shift directions a quarter of the compass, you know that's a barometric pressure change, and you know that, uh, that there's a fish bite opportunity there. And, the, and if you get those bite windows that, to correspond um, with some of these barometric pressure changes that you can, you can uh, get bites late in the day. And everybody's done it. They've ground all day long and they've got a bite late in the day when the wind shifted a quarter of the compass. And those are barometric pressure changes that occur. And now with these forecasting tools, we can plan our day out and pay particular attention to those points in time in the day. And then not only that, but understand the day. If it's high pressure, I'm gonna have to get tight to cover. I'm gonna have to use smaller lures. I'm gonna have to slow down. Uh, and then if you've got low pressure, you can be more aggressive. So uh, using these tools, you can plan it out a little bit. Uh, I'll put the links in the description below uh, about these graphs and how they work. Uh, but, but definitely use them to plan out your day. Pay attention to your environment. Everything in the fish's ecosystem is connected by a string. And so barometric pressure is an important one of them. They're, like I said before, they're sensory organs are very sensitive to pressure changes and, and that's what clues them into what's going on in their environment. Uh, so low pressure, bug life back up into suspension, little stuff eating the big, the, the bigger stuff's eating the little stuff and, and, and everything in that ecosystem kind of turns on when that happens. So knowing when that happens and have, actually having some tools to forecast it can make you a better angler, make you more efficient with your use of time on the water. So try it out. Let me know uh, in, the, in the comments below uh, your experience with, with uh, the barometer and fishing. And maybe if you uh, use this tool, I'd love to know if you had some corresponding success with some of those drops uh, in the day and if you paid attention and were ready for it. So hope this helps. Please uh, like and subscribe and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time on the water.